Burnham is pretty much halfway between Austin and Houston. I'd say it's just over an hour to Houston and Austin about an hour and a half. I mean, the drive around here is just amazing views and that's another perk to being where we are. And it's beautiful. And so you see a lot of people kind of looking for simplifying their lives and it just feels a little bit like a breath of fresh air. I never saw myself owning a retail store and running a coffee bar. <laughs> yeah. I'm the same way. I would have never imagined us being where we're at now, even two or three years ago. Welcome, Welcome to, to Brenham. Brenham. I never thought we would be in a small town. <laughs> My name is Jared Anderson. And I'm Kathleen Matthews. And we're owners of Ballad of the Bird Dog in Brenham, Texas. When we lived in Houston, I was working at Fluff Bake Bar. I was cooking and baking and really just working long hours. I'm a civil engineer, so I was working in, uh, in oil and gas for Bechtel Corporation out in the Galleria, just doing EPC construction. Our house in the Heights, it was really small, so we needed some storage and Houston was pretty expensive. And we had lived there for 10 years or so. We picked Brenham because when we drove through the downtown, it was just so inviting. Everyone's so friendly and welcoming, and it just had some comfort to it. The main streets of Brenham are beautiful. The architecture of all the buildings and the history behind them, and Herman Furniture is like the oldest mm -hmm. furniture store in Texas, and it's still an anchor of downtown. There's quite a bit of properties available to rent on Alamo Street. That's what really started triggering us to look into leases and available properties up here. One of the main draws for us to move out here was that we were ready to buy a house. As much as we loved living in the Heights, that wasn't gonna happen. We looked in town and found this really great mid-century that we loved and were amazed to see that it was in our budget. What you can get for the price is kind of the deal breaker. Just the small cottage bungalows, the age of the community, the age of the neighborhoods was something that really reminded us of the Heights. Yeah, Ballad of the Bird Dog is a um, modern general goods store. Our first dog passed away a couple weeks before our wedding. It was kind of when we started toying with the idea of starting a store. And so that definitely inspired the name and I surprised Kathleen with two fresh new bird dogs to, to take over the house. We started with the idea of just having a small storage unit that had our antiques and furniture from Kathleen's grandmother's house staged with Native American jewelry that I had in excess of because I'm a hoarder. And within just a couple months of being open and seeing the response of the people, we quickly decided that we had to find a bigger space. And that's when we found our current building that we're in now. We've curated a lot of our favorite things. So we have some of our favorite candles, soaps, jewelry. We also have a good selection of pantry items. You know, we like to support local when we can. And we also carry some bigger brands like Ray-Ban and, and Red Wing Boots. And that's really the core of what we bring in is stuff that appeals to us. Not and to our products. dogs. They have their stamp of approval on all the treats. We have a lot of shop gear that reflects small town Texas or somewhere Texas. And or just the experience that people had when they came to escape from Houston or Austin or wherever. Love Brenham. It's known for the wildflowers and driving through to Houston is one of my favorite places to stop. I like the small town uniqueness and it's just real homey. I've been here about four years and I came here for school and now I've stayed because I like the charm of the city. I actually just moved here from a kind of a bigger town because I wanted to have that small town atmosphere. We're constantly refreshing and adding new things. The biggest growth we've had is in Mescalito Coffee, our sister company in the store. We wanted to bring Mescalito in knowing that he couldn't live here without coffee. Yeah. <laughs> We were always thinking of having just a small, neat little corner that kind of served good coffee and kind of added to the experience. And it's just grown and grown and grown. And now we find people driving through that find us because they're looking for coffee. It used to be they would find coffee because of Ballad. Now it's, it's kind of vice versa now. It's another 
industry that we never thought we'd be in, but we love bringing a new and high quality experience to people in Brenham and, and visitors. Another part of the shop is our pop-up barber shop. We've been lucky to have some traveling barbers from Houston, Austin, and San Antonio come through, and the chairs are open for anyone that, that wants to do a, a weekend in Brenham and pop up and do some haircuts. So. Yeah, it's been a real fun addition to the shop. The liquor store has been here for over 40 years. We bought the local corner liquor store and we've remodeled and we rebranded as 1844 Liquor Market. Austin Winery is a smaller Texas wine that you can't find anywhere else in Brenham. We've also recently started a wine club so that we can introduce some of these organic wines. And we also developed an event venue above it. And we kind of see the people that are moving out here that want an experience that's similar to Houston or similar to Austin. This is such a cool floor in here. I think more and more people are finding opportunities or gaps in what's in Brenham and providing that service or that product that isn't here or that isn't to the level of what the Houston or Austin customer wants. There's a lot of artwork too, a lot of murals. This up here is one of the prettiest mural walls. Three different pieces there. And this is the newest one. The biggest difference between the Heights and Brenham, we always joke about it, but it's food. You know, Houston has... Amazing, amazing restaurants. Yeah. And there's so many amazing farms and ranches out here. Easily could do farm to table. The best part about living in Brenham is the calm, simple way of life and the community of people who just all came here kind of with the same intention of choosing to be a part of the community and not just choosing like a place to live but being invested in it. Other people we've met and talked to who moved here from Houston or Austin, they're like, we did it for the same reason. It's just for the different way of life. It's a great location. It's got a lot of great amenities. It's a place for everyone. I never thought we would be in a small town. <laughs> no, much less running a retail store. We're definitely excited that we did it, and it was a leap of faith for sure. <laughs> and now that we're here, it feels right. We're really happy. Mm -hmm.